Hi, it's Bridget. I have an opportunity to record for you a meditation. I hope that you enjoy it. I'd like to help you to connect today with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Oh, I know so many of you love him so very much and it would be my deepest, my deepest happiness to be able to help you to connect with him yourself. So I'm going to do that through a meditation and visualization. So join me. Just as though you would do any other meditation because you will likely close your eyes and really give yourself the opportunity to feel deeply into this connection. I suggest you do not do this. Don't listen to this even while you're driving. And if you have to focus, do this at another time when you can really enjoy it. So give yourself permission to be present. Recognize the fullest awareness of your beautiful human experience, your body. Let yourself breathe in with the intention of knowing that you are beautiful and amazing as a human being. And this is the messages. These are the kinds of loving energy connections that Freddie Mercury brings to us as an afterlife spirit, as an evolved spirit connecting to sensitive spirits such as yourself. So feel the beauty of life itself as you breathe in and exhale out. Giving your body permission to relax, soften the shoulders, allow the lungs to fill up with love and connection energy, opening up opportunity for you to really feel, feel good, positive, beautiful energy now. And just know that as you're breathing, you're breathing in beautiful energy. But those are the words he would like for me to use for you today. And so I will. Beautiful energy. In fact, let us call this meditation Beautiful Connection with Freddie Mercury. As you're breathing in and exhaling out, giving yourself permission to release from expectation, to release tension or stress in the body, to give the mind the opportunity to actually relax. Give the mind the job to focus on your breath and the task of co-creating the visual experience that you are entering into. Using your imagination to visualize the images as they are shared. Breathing in and exhaling out. Picture a beautiful lakeside view with gorgeous mountains in the backdrop. As you are standing on the edge of a path, it looks like a sidewalk, perhaps a broken concrete or a pebbled brick sidewalk pieced together. It is not perfect. It is bumpy and not smooth. And you can tell that as you are standing here below your feet, you can feel that. And these subtle details are essential to co-creating your visualization experience. And give yourself permission to close your eyes if you haven't already done so. If you're not comfortable to do that, just stare at the ground and visualize. Picture these images. Picture the path below your feet. Uneven pavement, stones. Looking out, there is a iron type of a rail that is in front of you that you can reach out and touch with your hands and rest upon that separates you from the below the imagery of the just rich velvety blue this navy blue water and the reflection of the mountains in the backdrop also that same navy blue color with peaks of deep forest green the richness, the depth of the color here is a sapphire blue, a deeper navy mystic blue energy. And it is so incredibly beautiful. The sunlight is not shining directly on you. There is not one source of light here. In fact, you can feel at your back and at the top of your head, you can feel warmth from 
the solar sun chakra energy vibration but there is not one source because it is broad and expansive and you can feel it supporting you over your head your neck and your back feel that now feel that warmth of that energy at your shoulders softening your shoulders and you notice that the air is particularly fresh here it feels less restrictive it feels richer with oxygen and life source energy so breathe it in deeply make sure that when you breathe in you give yourself the fullest time to exhale really exhale out to clear out that chest area the heart space clear out the grief and the the sadness that perhaps lingers in that heart chakra for whatever you grieve whatever it is in your lifetime that you have grieved just release in the fullness of your exhale just blow that air right out of there and refill the energy in your body with the pure life source oxygen here this place is mantra this is a place that Freddy loves so very much and he wants you to experience it as a gift for you a sacred treasure a sacred treasure breathe in the healing air here it is so he says it is so beautiful the air is hard to describe it cleanses you it it gives you hope he says now as you turn to your right side you notice that there's a row of buildings that go straight up the side of a street and it is though there's only one there's only the street is very narrow between where you're at on this sidewalk pathway a narrow street and then there are these seemingly rows of buildings and they go straight up like tall and they're sort of like condominiums apartments but they're very they're beautiful and they are expensive <laughs> and the views are breathtaking as you could only imagine as you are standing on the street looking up at them so off to your right you turn and you notice that there is this one that's almost right behind you it's a little bit more to your right and there's this wall that's there and it's like stone and it's super close to the side of the building but the building is more concrete with partial brick or stone on the sides of it it looks contemporary but i feel like it may have been older it may be a newer construction in perhaps the 80s but it it almost has a um a stucco like concrete finish however it also feels like there's some either brick or stone features to it as well so it perhaps is a, a design characteristic but you can tell you will you would notice this when you turn around and you look at it remember you're creating this imagery in your mind what fits for you is what is absolutely exactly right here and you look at it and there's like this gate and it's kind of odd because the the wall or the the brick or stone the stone wall fence kind of thing is not very not as tall as then this gate in the middle is very tall like almost like this doorway it's kind of odd a bit and you push on it because there's no real like doorknob or anything to turn it looks like there's a buzzer or a button that you can push and it, there's like an access you have to have access in order to enter into this place and it doesn't even look like you can get in from the street it looks like there must be some secret or other way around maybe a garage area in the back or on the side or something it, it looks like a mystery and so let's go walk across this road and go over to this gate place the place where the gate is and you can touch the wall go ahead and feel the wall and we wait for a moment and you look up and on the balcony the third i think it's the third or the fourth balcony it looks like the third or fourth story there is 
can't tell if it's three or four stories. It's a little bit different because the street kind of goes down a little bit. The third or the fourth floor. And there's a balcony. And there's like um, a bunch of, um, a couple sets of um, doors, French door styles that are open, wide open. And there's a balcony up there and it's a, like a square balcony. It's not rounded, it's square. It's a little more contemporary than kind of some of the designs in that area. And there's someone at the top and he's got a white shirt on and what looks like white pants and he's waving over the side. He's like, come on up, come on up. And so, The door opens, the gate opens. We walk not very far on this, just a little sidewalk. And we walk right into a doorway with a rectangular style awning. It's not even an awning, it just kind of is a like a part of a roof almost that comes out. And we walk in, it seems kind of modest, but very nice. It's hard to explain this. It's not overly decorated. It seems more contemporary for the time that it's in, but it's a contemporary decor mixed with this older, like 80s kind of a decor, maybe 90s, maybe 90s. I think it's 80s, it looks like 80s. And we step in and there's this beautiful tile. The tile on the, the floor is gorgeous. And then there's this, these mosaic, kind of tiles on this mirror type thing in the hallway. And then off to the left there are, it looks like there's an elevator there. And to the right there is what appears to be like stairway going up. And there's like these be this beautiful like arrangement in the center. I don't know if it's silk flowers or actual flowers, but it's beautiful like in this table. And it's really pretty. It's like a brass, lots of brass. So we go up on the elevator. It, four, it seems like the fourth floor. So we go up to four. I think there's a basement too here. We go up to four. And when we the doors open, we're already, we're in an entire flat. It's the whole thing. The doors open again. And then there's this kind of an oblong oval table and with marble on it. And the floors look like they have marble. And we step in and then there's a mirror on the left and a mirror on the right so it reflects the light out and it bounces off the light bounces off and you can see the reflection of the image of the mountains that we could see when we were standing on that street that paved pathway and we step in and <laughs> freddie mercury comes walking right out he goes oh hello he comes walking right out he's got bare feet He's like, I'm glad you could make it. I'm glad you could make it. Come on in, come on in, he says. And he has like a white t-shirt, white pants, and then he has this white kind of like a button up shirt almost that's kind of, I think it's a shirt, it might be a towel hung over his shoulder. I can't tell if it's a shirt or a towel hung over his shoulder. And he says, I was just reading. It looks like he was reading a paper. And he says, I was just reading. He says, come on in. So we walk in and then all and all the couches are white. There's all these there's white couches there. There's three different white. And there might actually be four, four white couches. They're kind of like love seat type couches and they might be leather. I can't tell. They look very smooth. And so we can sit down. Yeah, it feels like leather. It feels like leather. it's white, pristine white. But the walls are a different color. I can't quite tell. They're almost like a reddish, red burgundy kind of, burgundy-ish color. Um, yeah, like a burgundy is a good way to describe it. It's contrast with the white. And then there's this big picture on the wall that has these colors that are like gold and some of the burgundy and then some of this beautiful, rich turquoise and blues. It's gorgeous. It's kind of a... a abstract but it's just it's not shapes or anything necessarily it kind of like it's broad strokes it's beautiful and so we sit down he says have a seat sit down sit down he said sit 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 and he's kind of waving to the the couch and you have a seat and there's cats the white cat with the gray i can see and then i can see another one that looks like a tiger stripe but it's got um it's not orange though it's like a grays and browns blacks kind of black black and gray brown kind of color black and gray dark gray black yeah um there's two i can see two and it's beautiful it's a beautiful view and then so where we're sitting where these four couches are there's 
these double the, the doors are wide open to the balcony outside there's somebody else there i can feel another energy there but let's speak to freddie so let's talk with freddie so it's just you and i and freddie so what would you like to talk about what would you like to talk with freddie mercury about what would you what have you always wanted to ask him are you okay with that freddie he says he says absolutely absolutely anything anything he says you can ask me anything anything as long as you don't tell anyone <laughs> and he laughs as long as you don't tell anyone he says <laughs> go ahead and ask so this is your opportunity my friend feel into the energy of freddie mercury as we sit in his flat in montro as you are comfortable on his couch and you are sitting right across from him ask him whatever you'd like to know it could be anything about your life now guidance, information, anything about his life, whatever you choose, as long as you can learn. It must be something you can learn from his experience, not a simple curiosity to satisfy a, a sen sensational need, but something that is quite relevant to you that's going to assist you. So go ahead and ask him that question now. Go ahead. It's your turn. Go ahead. Breathing in and exhaling out. Think your question or say it out loud. Just pick one that comes forward. Feel your inquiry in your heart. Feel the inquiry. Say whatever you need to say. And now receive. Oh, receive in that heart space. Open up your heart and receive his response. Receive his words of reply, his energy flowing right into your heart because that is how Mr. Mercury, that is how Mr. Freddie Mercury will connect with you in your heart, your beautiful beautiful connection in your heart space so feel it feel him reaching out to you in this beautiful connection and feel the message feel the energy of the message for you your personal message from freddie mercury in the afterlife breathing in and exhaling out Give yourself, give yourself this gift to receive. Receive the energy from Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. Receive the message for you from Freddie in the afterlife right now. Just receive it as you're breathing in and exhaling out. Receive, receive, receive. As you sit in this beautiful place, in Freddie Mercury's flat in Montreux, connecting to his beautiful heartfelt energy. What is it that you feel here and now? What insights have you gained? The wisdom that you receive through this connection will linger. It will last for you. And I promise this. Whenever it is that you need the information from this message, if you haven't received it, if you haven't actually been consciously aware of receiving it, you will. You will. This is how energy works. This is how connection works. This is only the beginning. When you do this connection and others like it, again, you will find the beautiful connection in the heart space and you, you will receive your own message, your own guidance through energy, through feeling, through sensation or senses through visual imagery, and through words. This is true for you. So stay as long as you like, and when you are ready to return back to the real human life experience with all of the knowledge of energy and wisdom and the trust and the faith and the wisdom of this connection that you have had with Freddie in the afterlife, that you may remember when you need it most, 
you come back to your physical human body, feeling your physical body. Give yourself the opportunity to stretch your shoulders, reach your arms out, squeeze your hands together so you feel your body becoming very aware of who you are, where you're at, gently gently softening, opening, softly opening the eyes so you can see the environment that you're in. Recognize yourself in the beautiful human expression that you are in your beautiful human body for your beautiful human life as you are here and now, grounded and centered, your feet like the roots of a tree deep into the earth, connecting you, centering you, in this time, in this place, here and now. This is Bridget. It has been my pleasure to create this personal visualization and meditation for you to connect with Freddie Mercury, your beautiful connection with Freddie Mercury. In the afterlife, go ahead and visit Above Life channel on YouTube and explore the Freddie Mercury playlist, as well as connection to many other wonderful Afterlife Celebrity guest channels. Thank you so much for listening.